Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM 1019 and holy crap, guys, it's happening. We're doing this. And if you're totally confused, don't worry, that's probably on purpose. So, uh, not long ago, I had decided to, uh, to revisit a series of games I used to love uh, for Grand Star Legion. Um, I put on the tracker I wanted to do Curse of Monkey Island and Escape from Monkey Island. Um, but I had never really stopped to play the first two games in the Monkey Island series. And M Monkey Island is an old uh, LucasArts point-and-click adventure. Uh, and... It's very well loved by the people that that played it. It's uh, it's very well written. It's really funny. It's uh, you know, it's full of moon logic for the old style point and click adventures. And you know, the, these these kind of games really inspired a lot of the Traveler's Tale games you had seen today. Um, and since years ago, the first two Monkey Islands got completely remastered and are on the Xbox 360. I thought, well, this is a good time to actually play these for once. So, we're going to play through the whole series. Uh, so, get ready for a whole saga. We're starting with the very first game, The Secret of Monkey Island, uh, followed by LeChuck's Revenge. Then we're going to play Curse, then Escape, and then Tales, all five episodes. Uh, so, it's going to be a long journey. Um, I, have never, I have never played The Secret from start to finish, and I'm really excited to check this out uh, because the remasters are totally renewed graphics like they look really great considering what they used to look like you got to understand the first monkey island games were back in like before super vga graphics they were standardized vga graphics at the time uh they were old style point and click i don't know if anyone ever played simon the sorcerer but it looked exactly like those there was no voice acting at the time uh just some music and some really really outdated graphics all that's been fixed with this so achievements uh, full voice acting with the original Guybrush. I'm really happy about that. Uh, I'm excited. Let's get started. Uh, sure. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, I probably should have gotten to this screen first. Oh, that music. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. All right, I'm really excited to see how this works. I want to check this achievements list really quick. Only 12? All right. I know what one of them is because I saw a really old strategy guide for this a long time ago. I don't know if I'm going to get to the point where I can unlock it. It's a little annoying to unlock, but I'll, I'll get there when I get there. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, that's what the original game used to look like. Wait, is this giving me the... Melee Island. Hold on a minute. This doesn't seem right. Can I switch? Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, that that music, man. I always love the theme to this game. I just realized that the I think the voice delay on my capture card's probably not matching up, so This is kind of how every game starts, by the way. There, there's always kind of like a an, an uh, introduction sequence with this music. Uh, it sounds different from game to game. Guys, I can't wait to get the curse. Uh, I, I'm gonna have. I know all the puzzles for curse, and I, uh, I know all the puzzles for escape too. But like, every time I revisit these games, I'm just always amazed at how great the writing was for these. So, I want to see if this one's the same. People remember these, this in uh, two very fondly. Oh, it looks Hi. so much better. My name's Guybrush Streetwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Can I? Hold on a second. Can I? Whoop! No. 
special edition credits? Oh, okay. Interesting. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, That's better. I'm over this way. <laughs> ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'm I'll surprised they didn't, they didn't put the TM Bye next now. to scum. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Thanks. All right, the three trials. Okay, so a little bit of backstory, because you probably just heard what I just said, and you might be a little bit confused. I said, hey, I'm surprised they didn't put the TM on the word scum there. So, uh, for clarification, the first three Monkey Island games, The Secret of Monkey Island, Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, and The Curse of Monkey Island are scum games. And I don't mean that as an insult. I mean they're literally scum games. They're created in a system called... Uh, uh, or again, you might have also heard me reference uh, Simon the Sorcerer. Uh, I believe that was using the same language when it was built. Scum is script creation utility for Maniac Mansion. It was an engine that was developed by LucasArts years ago when they still existed and Disney didn't shut them down prematurely, to which I am still very livid at. So um, if you've ever heard of Scum or Scum VM and how Scum VM is used today even for point-and-click adventures... This is, I mean, I don't know if this is based on Scum anymore, at least the special edition, but um, Scum was the engine for these old point-and-click games, which is why Monkey Island, Simon the Sorcerer, Maniac Mansion, at the time they all looked really similar because of the engine they were using by Lucasfilm, or LucasArts, rather. So, uh, <laughs> because of that, occasionally... Uh, I, I, LucasArts, when they made these games, would make refer really obscure references to scum. Uh, they would, um, sometimes somebody would insult somebody else by calling them scum, but the subtitles would read it S-C-U-M-M -M instead of just one M. And they would also throw the TM up there at the same time because it was the name of their engine. So it's, it's just a funny thing that they used to do. Uh, so you, if you, if you ever see... You already saw it when he said, go check out the scum bar, and it was spelled with two M's. That's why. Script creation utility for Maniac Mansion. Also important to note, um, just, uh, uh, again, I have not played this uh, start to finish before. The first time I played this, I did not get very far at all. I maybe got ten minutes in before I decided to play something else. Um, so I've got a, I've got, uh, I've employed the, the help of the Universal Hint System, uh, a website, a walkthrough website that has been, uh, on the internet for years, uh, 1998 or earlier. So um, this has always been a great help to me when I was playing these old um, uh, uh, Monkey Island games. So that's what's going on. Uh, oh, look at Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Ah, Lane Marley. All right, so um, this is going to be interesting because I'm not used to playing this kind of game on a on an xbox and once i get to curse curse i the only way curse works on modern systems is in scum vm so i'm gonna have to figure out a way to um to record from my pc it shouldn't be that hard to figure out i mean i know how to do it i just want to do it in a way that's consistent and doesn't drop frames all right so we're on melee island uh here's the scum bar so let's uh let's go inside i guess well, doesn't this look like a jolly place? Oh, wow, this is really cool, actually. The, um, the scum bar in Escape looked almost the same way. That's some great continuity. So there's a bunch of people here. I don't think we can talk to very many of them. Oh, eh, maybe I can. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dark board. Dark board. <laughs> there was a horrible accident. Drinking the darts don't mix. <laughs> you don't say. All right, I'm not gonna talk to Sorry this guy. To Bye. Um. Right. Anyway, so 
you might already be a little concerned about how I zoomed in on that guy and his mouth didn't move. So, uh, back in, you gotta remember, these original games were like 95 or earlier. Uh, animation was not the same back then as it is today. In fact, there didn't exist animation like this in the original um, Monkey Island. So, when you see certain characters that aren't emoting when they speak, it's kind of by design to kind of keep some of the nostalgia of the old game. Um, that'll change as, as we get to some of the newer games, but I think I can talk to this dog, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> I'm having a talk with a dog about LeChuck and Melee Island and Governor Marley. <laughs> and he mentioned Monkey Island. Okay. that it, It's super informative. Let's go back here. Alright, so these look like three uh, upstanding gentlemen. Important looking pirates. <coughs> I want to be a pirate. I want to be a pirate. So, why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole Lake Chuck thing. So, so, no pirates means no swag. And no swag means no grog. And we're getting dangerously low on grog. Ah, <coughs> uh, grog. Pirates do love their grog. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. That he can. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You have to go through the three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword and the art of thievery. And the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and the, the treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. <coughs> and then you must <coughs> drink grog with us. Okay, so they're telling us that we need to fast three trials to even become a pirate and then drink grog with them. Uh, we need to master the sword, master thievery, and master treasure hunting. Tell me more about mastering the sword. But we need to know a little more about these. First, get here your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> okay, so we need to find a sword and find someone to train us in the art of uh, sword play, and then take on the mat the sword master of Melee Island. I know who that is. I've never seen her in this game. Um, I don't want to spoil it too much. Tell me more about mastering the art of. <coughs> Okay, and how about treasure hunting? Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Bailey Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find 
like a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot. <laughs> All right. Uh, we don't want to insult them. What's in, that What's in Grog there? anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following: kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. <laughs> and yet you're drinking it. The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll just be going. I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our drug. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Okay, uh, I think this game also has a hint system in it somewhere. I don't know much about it. Oh, hold X for hint? I should try to get into the kitchen to see if I can find something to what? Uh, okay, I guess I gotta get into the kitchen, which I'm pretty sure is this door. Hey, you can't come back here. Uh, well, he didn't appreciate that. Leave off the left side of the room and then sneak in. Uh huh. Hey, you can't come back here. All right, so I guess what I have to do is walk back over to this side of the room and wait for the. Oop! Oh, hello. Hey, don't go into the kitchen. Nope, oh, he knew what I was trying to do. Yep, hey, I'm. Don't go into the kitchen. All right, I just gotta wait for him to leave, I guess. All right, I'm totally going into the kitchen. So I guess I need something in here. I don't know what. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Okay, I guess I... Oh, I think I need this fish, actually. Uh, excuse me, bird. I need I that. that bird will pick my hand off. Uh, okay. Hold on. Ah, all right. Go away, Mr. Bird. There we go. Yoink. Thank you. Okay. Needed that for something. Don't know what. But. Alright, so. I mean. Cool, I got a fish. Yeah, the hint is still telling me to go to the kitchen. I don't know what for, though. I don't think I need anything else. I don't know what I need the fish for either, but I'm, it's gonna come. <laughs> it's gonna make itself known in time, I'm guessing. Alright, so. We've talked to the pirates. Uh, alright, so let's get to work on these three trials, I guess. Uh, let's get out of here. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Ugh, hot. <clears throat> I... There's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. Wow, they got the same voice actor for LeChuck, too. That's awesome. Uh, sir, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> we are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship and murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. <laughs> I had them taken care of myself. 
Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. Okay. So, let's I guess we should start with the the sword trial. So, let's uh keep moving, I suppose. We're going to need I think we're going to need to get some money. It sounds like there's no other way to get a sword but just by buying one, honestly. So, Hi there, citizen. But do you have a cousin named Sven? Uh no. What is that? Some sort of code? Of course it's a code, you idiot. Never mind. Good night. Hmm. That means Excuse something. Excuse me, but do... Now it's always you again. Uh... My cousin Sven sends his regards. I see. Let's talk business. Ah! Okay. You buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. Yeah, I don't have any pieces of eight. Uh, no thanks. I don't have enough money. Well then, but <coughs> look, kid, it's bad for business. Alright, so that's probably going to come into play eventually, but I need some money first. Uh, so, piranha poodles you would like to eat. Wait, what? Check out the scumbar kit. Oh! Oh, okay. So, that's what the fish is for? I need to give the fish to the dog? Is that guy following me? Alright, well, let's go back inside. Whoop. Let's go talk to the dog again, if that's what this fish is for. What the... Alright. Oh, okay. That makes way more sense. All right, give fish. Oh, come on. Give fish to dog. What do you mean, grr? Uh, what? You should wait for the cook to leave the side of the room and then sneak in. I did that already. Is this... Piranha Poodles. Who's Piranha Poodles? Alright, uh, this... It's gonna be somebody, I just don't know who. Who's this dude? Nope, can't talk to him. I don't wanna bother them. They're busy listening to the guy on the left. I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Hmm. Okay, well, I need to give this fish to somebody, but... Oh, I didn't mean to close the door. Get out. Something to feed the piranha poodles. Piranha poodles. I've got the fish, just... Huh. Fascinating. Okay, well, either way, I'm going to need to get some money, so... Part of the village, one screen right of the scum bar as well as exploring. All right, so let's go back to the... Um to the village of Melee Island. Guess there's somebody I'm going to have to talk to besides this guy. Let's just go exploring for a little bit. Hello there, gentlemen. Men of low fiber. Okay. <coughs> nice rat. Can you stand to be near this vermin? Do you guys know? The sneaky looking man in the opposite corner. Say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troupe. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> of course we're pirates. You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? All right, I guess I'll just question these guys. How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship, looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing? Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. Yeah, he's talking about so LeChuck. Pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. 
It was working out well until the rats scared off the elephant. Now you've depressed us. Go home. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need to talk to them more about that. Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Wanna buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like the birdcage lanyards you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. That's <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Uh, no, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces no, of eight. I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I just got a map in, or minute notes and two pieces of eight. Um. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Yes, especially in a light wine sauce. Yes, especially in a light <laughs> wine sauce. <laughs> Get away! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. Well, I just got two pieces of eight. I doubt that's going to be enough to do much with. Um, I also doubt it's going to be enough to, uh, well, get anything. So, I'm going to need more money. Um, probably going to have to do some more exploring around the island. Alright, so. Big island. Lots of people here. What, what was that? Yes. Who's whispering to me? Hello? Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. Uh -oh. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Did you hear something back in here, too? No. I'd better get your name. Uh, okay. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm new in town. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. That's gonna be a running joke. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinecop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. <coughs> Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. Why do I feel like I just got mugged? All right. Either way, uh, apparently there's a circus around here. Ooh, a circus. I love a circus. That's probably a good thing to go looking for. So let's... I think I need to go this, back this way. Alright, so apparently there's a circus in town. I think I need to go around looking for that. What's in here? Oh, a church. Okay. No, all right, nothing really to see or do in here right now, I guess. Apparently I'm looking for a pink light. General map? Is there can I pull up a general map? No. Okay. Well. Is that the governor's mansion? I don't recall that being where it was in escape, but Oh yeah, this is the governor's mansion, alright. Oh, are these piranha Oh, these are the piranha pools. Or poodles. Okay. I don't think I can get past that. Ah, alright. So that makes sense. So this is going to tell me... Right. Okay, so if these are the piranha poodles... What the... Hold on. Oh, whoops. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. 
Okay, so, uh, this is just, this is good just for history's sake. This is the old scum engine. This is what games that were built in script creation utility for, uh, Maniac Mansion used to look like. Monkey Island 1 and 2, uh, Maniac Mansion, and Simon the Sorcerer and other games like it looked exactly like this. They had weird sound, uh, I could probably use fish with these. Oop. Or give fish to piranha pools. Alright, so, either way. Uh, they don't eat fish. What? I can't move it. Whoops. I gotta stop doing that. Alright. So. Okay, I guess the fish wasn't what I needed. Alright, let's go back then. I'm gonna have to go back to the scum bar. In that case. Maybe I did need that meat. Uh, alright, I'll go back to the scum bar eventually, but sounds like I need to go looking for this, uh, this circus. Wait, I can just, oh, hello there. What is this, a bank? Ring bell for service. Uh, okay. It never fails. <clears throat> I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. <laughs> okay. Hello there. What do you want? Uh, I'm, I'm looking, looking for the Swordmaster. The Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't <coughs> know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. Uh, I... Uh, and don't touch anything! Okay. Welp. Uh, I guess that's an opportunity for me to go exploring. I just don't know what I'm looking for yet. Ooh, is that a sword? Davy Jones Lockers. The last word in theft, fire, and grog-resistant storage devices. <laughs> Davy Jones Lockers. Digmaster, the only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. Alright, I'm probably going to need to buy that. Um, there's stuff in here I think I'm going to have to buy. Slashmaster, when you want a sword as sharp as your wit. Okay. Slash master. Whoop. When yeah, yeah, yeah. As sharp as your wit. All right, I can't just take that, right? Oh, I can. Uh Can I do the same thing with a shovel? Oh, I guess so. Okay. Interesting. Can I leave? He's going to stop me if I try to leave, right? Oh, yep. Hello. Caught you, you little thief. Maybe you'd like to pay for those. No, I wouldn't, but about All right. The sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. That's a hundred pieces of eight. Oh, dear Lord. Really? You won't haggle? I don't have enough money. Figures. Alright, I'm gonna need more of the money than that. How much is the shovel? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? How much is it? Ooh, another would-be treasure hunter, eh? That'll cost you seventy-five pieces of eight. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna need to seventy five pieces of eight? I don't have that much. Then you better go put it back. Alright, so long and short of that is I'm going to, I'm gonna have to come back with a lot more money. Uh that's how I'm gonna get the shovel, that's how I'm gonna get the sword. This guy knows what the sword master is, but it's way too early to meet her. So Is there there's... something here that maybe you can afford? No. Nothing. 
I'm looking for the sword master of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, she he didn't say that. You asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there again. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll the, I'm pretty sure he'll I'm pretty sure he'll just keep going and asking every time I, I ask him to, but alright. So whatever. Nothing I can do in here. Let's leave. Okay. Um although Oh okay. Actually I think I understand this. If I follow him I should he should lead me right to where the swordmaster is. I think. I kind of lost sight of him, though. Oh, nope, there he is. Keep going. Uh, oh, shoot, I don't know which way he went. Did he go this way? Hey. Oh, wow. Was that him? This is where I started. Oh, okay, here's the here's the map, and that's the old guy, I think. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Just gonna keep following him. He'll apparently lead us right to the sword master. And yeah, that's Carla. Okay. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the business. This kid <coughs> come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. <laughs> it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. Nice lady. All right, so... I doubt I... I don't know. I don't suppose I can just walk up to her and meet her. Well, maybe I can. How's it going? How dare Hi there. you approach the sword master without permission, which I surely didn't give you. I beg your pardon. I must talk to you. I doubt that. Everyone who comes here is prepared to fight. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. She is smart. But as you have no sword, I doubt you're really serious. Yeah, I was expecting that. Okay, well, I know where her house is. Um, can I pull up a map? That would really help me right about now. That's my inventory. Huh. I was really hoping that there was a, a map key. All right, I guess there isn't. Usually there's a overworld map button on certain adventures I can use, but I guess there isn't on this one. Um, I hope I don't... Uh, getting Coming back here might be a pain, but let's see. Maybe I'll get lucky. Who knows? All right, thank God. All right, so if this is the overworld map... Oh, good. All right, that's a shortcut on the map now. Excellent. Okay, so... There's lights over here. I think this is where the circus is. So let's go check. <coughs> uh, hello there, sir. Stop. You must pay a toll. Uh, 
Look behind you, a mouse. I'm not falling for that. Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. You can't pass until you pay the toll. How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? Nothing. Nothing of consequence. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. Uh, what? A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. <laughs> Another running joke. Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat you. Uh. Pass until you pay the toll. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. While the town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. Hmm. I can out insult anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Take that and stick it in your repertoire. None shall pass. Okay, that was a, uh... Alright, alright, I'm going. None shall pass. <sighs> hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh... Alright. <sighs> this hint system is really telling me to get whatever's in this kitchen, so I guess I gotta better go back there and figure that out. Alright, so let's go back into the scum bar. Cook's gonna be in here, he's not gonna let me in. Hey! You can't come back here! Yep, alright, so I gotta go back over here, wait for him to open the door. Okay, wait for him to leave. There we go, go inside. Alright, let's take a look around. Um a someone pot? cooked a head cheese in this. Someone cooked a head cheese in this. Ugh. I think it's full of that foul stuff pirates drink. <laughs> Can I take this? It's some sort of meat or meat like substance. Oh, I can. All right. How about this pot? This might come in handy. Someone cooked a head cheese in this. Or not? Can I take this? Whoop! No. It's boiling hot. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Um. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I think that's what I needed. I need to drug this meat with something. Oh. Okay. So that's trying to explain to me how. Um, I, in the forest can make poodles sleep. Okay. There's a flower in the forest I guess I need. <coughs> Go to the fork and hunt in the forest for the yellow flower. Alright, so I'm looking for a yellow flower apparently. Can I make him walk faster? No, but... Pull, push, use, pick up, give, open, D-pad action, shortcuts, move, select dialog, bring up action, start menu, skip cutscenes, hint, <laughs> default action, hint system. Alright, well there's no map button unfortunately, but okay. Um, whoops. Hunt in the forest for the yellow flowers. Alright, well, let's look for the flower, I guess. Bloodthirsty Pirate, Swordmaster's House, 
What's in this clearing? A wagon? Ah, the circus tent. Oh, okay, so this is where it was. I was looking for the light somewhere else, but let's go in here. I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I cannot do it. I hurt my hand killing the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you beggar. <laughs> you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Top. <laughs> Weasel. Okay. Weasel. <clears throat> Say there, son. <laughs> how do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime a chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat. <laughs> not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying. Ferrocini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. <laughs> oh, it's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is uh, get in the cannon. And we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. This sounds so, sounds great. Uh, how much how will much you pay me? me? How about 478 pieces of eight? Uh, deal. Okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Uh, no, but... Uh, I've got a pot. Will that work? What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure. That it's a safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, here. <laughs> that doesn't seem to work. Whoops. Someone cooked a head cheese in there. What the? Oh, that's how I. Hold on. Oh, this is so weird. I gotta get used to how this works. Okay, there's. Give. Here. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Okay then. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Put on your helmet and get in the cannon, and we'll take care of the rest. <coughs> Echo! Echo! <laughs> Ow! It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? <laughs> Uh, what? I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? It's <laughs> all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just a recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! No, me! Slacker, loser, ruffian, fop. <laughs> okay, well, that was great. Okay, well, I've got money now. Uh, so <laughs> let's uh, let's get out of here. Uh, I can buy a sword now. I'd like to figure out if I can find this flower uh, that I apparently need. So where else can I visit? There's an island here. There's so a house here. I don't think I can get there, though. The Swordmaster's house. Yeah, I can't get past this troll here. Alright, so that's that's going to have to come later. Um, okay, well, let's... Uh, I don't think I need to do anything with the... Um, 
with the piranha pools at the government governor's mansion yet anyway so that can probably come later let's uh, get let's get ourselves a sword I'm probably gonna need a shovel too I'm gonna check my theory on that one Let's keep it moving. Yeah, I will need to buy the shovel. So let's go back to the store, get ourselves the sword and the shovel. Hey, hello. Where'd you go? I hiked halfway across the <laughs> island. Try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. Well, you took too long. If I ever do you a favor again. That's okay. I don't need you to do it anymore. All right. I'm going to pick up the sword or the shovel. Okay. Got a good deal on swords right now. I don't have all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold your horses. What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, okay. You'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? Well, that's it for now, good sir. I think I'd just like to browse. Hey, this ain't no boutique. All right, Take fine. All I'll be leaving then, jeez. Uh, let's see. I've still got 305 pieces of eight left. Good deal. All right. I don't see anything special about it. No, get, walk out the door. There you go. Okay. So, we're on our way to the sword uh, trial. So, I still need to find somebody to train with. Hmm. wonder where I can go. I gotta get past the troll bridge, I think, though. Oh, yeah, I've got, um... Huh. Ah! <laughs> okay, I get it. I had to think about this for a minute. Alright, uh... Easiest way to get to the map... I think, can I get to the map by going this way? Or is this just going to take me to the, um... Oh, it's just going to take me to the governor's house. I don't want to do that. <coughs> so, um... And yes, uh, sometimes I'll be playing a little coy about it. But yes, again, I'm using a hint system to kind of keep me on the right path here so I'm not wasting everybody's time as they watch me play this. But, um, so the troll said that he wanted something of perceived importance with no real value. He wants something blatant that, <laughs> but, but is indeed misleading. In other words, he wants a red herring. And guess what type of fish I picked up? <laughs> All right, back to the troll. Hello, sir. Stop! You must pay a toll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, oh sorry. Uh, I'll take the long way around. None shall pass. Oh. Give right here. A red herring. Pass. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> okay. Let her at these lights over here. Oh, of course. It's Stan. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, I wonder if this grog machine works. Welcome to Stan's previously owned vessels. I'm off searching the globe right now for the finest in previously owned marine transportation. Have a look around. I'll be right back. Oh, Stan. All right. Here. Stan is a uh, a, uh, a running gag character for this series. You'll uh, you'll meet him later. Okay, so there are boats and ships here. So this is this is neat, but I don't think I need a boat right now. Oh, how did I get over here? All right. This isn't his original music either. I wonder if that's going to come back into play. All right. Uh, I should have figured that's that would have been where Stan was. Let's see what this house is. Is this? Uh, I think this is Meat Hook's place, based on the map. Captain Smirk's big body pirate gym. Oh, Prices. a gym. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Ah, hello there. 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. Okay, well that's a lot of training options, but I think I just need the sword training. All right, Captain Smirk. Okay, let's go see if we can talk to Captain Smirk. I think I'll not. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Well, hello to you, too. Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had his corner. It looked like we were done for, but then she said, But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. <laughs> but I do have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do too. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, <laughs> it'll cost you. Yeah, how much? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy. You fight like a dairy farmer. <laughs> I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is going to take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special... Student mentor pieces of eight bonding <laughs> I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. Oh boy. This gonna hurt. Yikes. It's literally operated by a monkey. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Advance 
Thrust recover parry repulse. Advance thrust recover parry repulse. Use your forte against the foible. Watch your footwork. Advance thrust recover parry repulse. Hours later. <laughs> starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. <laughs> Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm going to let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Okay. The old pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. Yep. But the pros, they insult each other. Yeah. Cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. So this is also a running gag from Monkey Island series. Just be twice as sharp as your sword. Insult sword play. A couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. All right. So, yeah. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you, you fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with? I respond with... Uh, okay, all of these are horrible uh, retorts. Uh... You must be thinking of someone else. I am not a farmer. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. <laughs> you should have responded with something like, how appropriate. You, you fight, fight like, like a, cow. a cow. Yep, that's you a common insult in the series. Razor sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? <laughs> I can say how appropriate you fight like a cow, but that's kind of... Uh, time's passed for that one. Appropriate. You fight like a cow. No, no, no. That was the response from the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. Right. Oh, a correct response to soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab would have been something like first, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. Yep, I'm going to have to learn all these insults. I feel like I've been ripped off. <laughs> I'm sure you're feeling something similar. All right. Well, we've got work to do. All right. Let's call that an episode here. We've got a lot more coming up. Uh, thank you for joining me here. Uh, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And myself at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. Uh, I'll see you guys next week for another episode. Take care.